Yo guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you the full guide on how you can be eligible for the Polygon ZK EVM airdrop. So as you can see, the founder of Polygon said there is no existing rule that token can do massive airdrop. So make sure you guys stick to the video. And if you're interested in more different airdrops, you can join my Discord and find different airdrops like ZK Sync, Starknet, Crawl, Layer Zero. So you can definitely find something for yourself. Quickly, please do hit the like button because it really helped me to grow my channel and motivates me to produce more content for you guys first step what you want to do you want to go to chainlist.org you want to search for polygon and you're not going to see it because the polygon zk vm is under my camera but basically i'm going to put the link down below so you connect the polygon zk evm you add it to your metamask now you're going to see this pop-up you approve this network to add it to your metamask so next step what do you want to do you want to go to polygon uh, wallet polygon technology then you want to connect your wallet so click on it click on metamask your metamask is going to pop up you will need to connect your metamask account click connect and that's all then click on the bridge so now we need to bridge some if from if mainnet to zk evm or you can use third-party bridges which will allow you to basically bridge um ethereum from different chains like arbitrum polygon or a different chains that you're using essentially i would always advise you when you're farming new airdrop you're supposed to use at least one time the official bridge which essentially is built by polygon i have 0.2 if in my wallet i'm gonna send 0.1 using the official bridge and you need to just type i understand then you press bridge to eth just confirm it and then you'll need to sign the transaction in your metamask now as you can see my transaction was successful and i paid seven dollars to bridge eth to zk evm and i would advise you to use the blocknative.com website to check way so basically when you see something is around 30 that's a good time to bridge to a different chain because you will pay less in a gas fee when you see something is above 50 60 you might wait a little bit longer to wait for the number to go lower because you're gonna pay less in gas fee so now we use the official bridge one time what we can do now we can use that third party bridges so i like to use orbiter because every time when you use orbiter you are qualifying yourself for the upcoming airdrop from them because using orbiter you will pay very little for the transaction fees you're not only qualifying yourself for the polygons evm and when you're farming different airdrop you're bridging from different chains like eve to zk to starknet so that's definitely one of the best bridges because it's the cheapest one and also qualify you for the upcoming airdrop for the potential airdrop once they're gonna announce it so we're gonna send for example 0.001 and we're gonna send it to polygon ckvm we're gonna send very little amount because we want to build our presence using different bridges different protocols click confirm the transaction and that's all done now next step we'll need to use different protocols so to do that we'll use defi llama and on DeFi Llama, you can sort different protocols by TVL. So make sure you guys go to, to the search bar and search for Polygon ZK EVM. Do not click Polygon here because you need to find Polygon ZK EVM. Once you do that, click on TVL. So now you can see that the number one is QuickSwap. Then we have different protocols. So I chose a QuickSwap, Dove, and Antifarm. One of these protocols that we're going to use is QuickSwap. So we connect our wallet and we select MetaMask. And now you'll need to select the network. So just select Polygon ZK EVM. Now we want to make one swap. So for example, as you can see, I have 0.11 ETH. So I'm going to select 50%. You can use less than that. You can use whatever amount that you really have in your wallet. And then we're going to select a token. So for example let's say uh we're gonna do it in weave and then you have the different coins as well you can use usdt usdc etc different coins that they provide in this example we're gonna do it with wrapped ethereum so now we have our wrapped ethereum we can select 0.05 right now and we want to swap it to different coin like for example let's say usdt and this website sometimes might be glitchy it's not working really fast but um, it is what it is so we might just wait a while and you'll need to allow quick swap to use your usdt you see um, use your wrapped ethereum so just confirm the transaction in your metamask so now once our approval is confirmed we can click on the swap button confirm our swap and wait for the confirmation now our transaction is processing so what you want to do right now is to for example just select uh, your ether and you want to select to usdc and select for example 0.01 or whatever amount you really wanted to do and swap it to usdc and always when you're farming your airdrop just please remember to make at least 10 swaps because that might be the criteria for the airdrop they might qualify you 
because you are earning different points so the more points you will have like for example bridging making swaps providing liquidity using different protocols and and transactions that also will matter as the different criteria for the airdrop so now we have 18 dollars in there what we can do we can go to pools and we can provide some liquidity so select the token a which is ethereum and token b which is usdc in the pool you want to provide liquidity so select the pair like ether and usdc or whatever different pair you chose then scroll down and just um, say for example two dollars then you want to click on approve usdc and approve with select the spending limit for your transaction so now we approve usdc you want to approve the weave right now and you have to be really patient because the website and the protocol as, and the chain doesn't work as good as you might think it is. You might refresh the page a couple times and wait for the value to load. So now we did our job on QuickSwap. What you want to do now is to go to swapdovich.finance. A link will be down below. Connect your wallet to this website. Connect your MetaMask. So click next and confirm. Click on get started. And now you can do more swaps. So for example, we can swap different um, coins that we have in our wallet. So for example, USDC. And I'm going to swap it back to Ether. So select any amount that you want to swap it to. Approve in your wallet. So I will advise you just make at least 10 different swaps, different purse. Because that definitely will help you to be qualified for the airdrop. I'm going to do one more swap and I'm going to swap 0.05 ETH to ETH. And I'm going to click on unwrap and confirm the transaction in my MetaMask. And I'm going to do one final swap on this protocol, which is Ether to Matic. And I'm going to click on swap and confirm this swap. The next protocol you can use is Onform. And in here, same like previously, you can make swaps or you can provide liquidity. So you can either swap it from one of these coins like Ethereum, ATF, Weave, Matic and USDC. So it works exactly the same way how you would do swap on QuickSwap or DoveSwap. So next you will need to complete this simple quest and this is a layer 3 website. The link will be down below. So begin the course and click continue and you'll need to answer very simple questions so this will verify whether you bridge to polygon zkvm so that's the answer for quiz number one question number two question number three and question number four so that's pretty much all we have to do to get qualified for the polygon zkvm airdrop and if you enjoyed this video follow me on twitter hit the like button for the youtube algorithm comment down below what you think about this video and subscribe to the channel and i'll see you in the next one